hear, why not just tell the truth, but I can't remember why now. I don't remember why I wrote that. No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. So, we were, we had, we had days off, but we didn't know why we had the days off. And we were told that there was a, some kind of, Emergency. No, it was a system well, breakdown. Something like that. When, First it said there was an emergency. And then it said there was a system breakdown. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? None of none of that had any meaning and nobody wanted to say what it was. And my thing is, why not just tell whatever's going on to the staff so that you know, you're not creating you're not creating more questions through trying to be secretive when the reason that we were off had nothing to do with you or your business or anything it, it, it all came from outside why not just be honest I don't get the idea of hiding information when it's not necessary to hide it that's what I don't understand that's the I, it, it's like you're it's like it's like lying when you have no reason to lie I don't get why you would lie like there's no benefit for you lying it doesn't help anybody. It doesn't change any feelings. It doesn't do anything to lie, but people just lie. And usually we call those people compulsive liars. Like it's a condition, it's a problem in that person that they do that. I don't understand why that's a thing when it wasn't up to you in the first place. You know, it was weird. It was a weird, weird moment. Like, I mean, I, Trust me, like the days off, you know, but to, to just say you're having these days off for this reason, oh, okay, thanks. What was the real reason of being off? We didn't have a choice. The, comp the, the businesses had to be closed those two days. Because of, there was an election. Yeah, it's, so it, it's, the it's just the government told all the businesses, all the businesses closed. be closed. That's it. There was no more. There's no. There's nothing nefarious or anything. <laughs> you have to be closed on this day. Okay. People, we have to be closed because of this um, situation in the country. Okay. To see you on Monday. Right. That's and that's how we felt. It was just like, why, why try to put all this other stuff out there when none of that was necessary. Right. Just if they would have just said. Right, and that's what I was like. If when we don't get accurate information, then we start wondering what's wrong, what happened, and we start to worry. You know, are we going to have a job tomorrow? Are we, you know, being fired? What's going on? But all he had to say was, we just got a notice from the government, and because of the election, we have to be closed for the next two days. Huh. Okay. okay, cool. I know. Thanks. See you Monday. No big deal. No big deal. Um, all right, so we had a work day, as you can see. I wanted to I got my to shirt. wear my shirt because I, I, I got in the shower first and I put it on first because we can't do the whole, I mean, we're already wearing all black, which is psycho. I would have been wearing blue. Look, man. Because mine is blue. Look, man. You can't wear the same shirt on the same day. That's just not cool. We already have the color issue. Yes, you will be wearing the color, and then I will be wearing Copy the color. me. Just say, well, guess, well, I will what? wear a thing, and you will copy me. That I'll is what me. is guess, happening there. Guess what? Both of you copy me, because I got up this morning, and I got in the shower first. I was copying you. I didn't even see you. Yes, you did. Man, no, please. I was standing there no, copying me. The no, the no, coffee. no, that's not the thing that's happening. All right, Fly, you got to go. Um, so, this week was our birthday, as you can see, October 26th. You saw my um, Halloween pictures on Instagram, that's what they were for. So, um, yeah, birthday. What exciting things did we do on our birthday in 2020? Went to work. Anything else exciting that we did for our birthday on 2020? Gave some exams. We ate food and breathed. That was it? I got a gift from a student. Which was, I, I was super that. excited you about. You didn't get Corona on your birthday. Yeah, the, the whole Corona thing, in the U.S. is having a, a serious, ridiculous Ooh, thing I'm happen. so glad about it there. Um, don't, don't cheer too hard. 
because you don't know what's here. No, because they people, don't. People are not taking it seriously at all in where we are, in what we see just in our walk back and forth. You don't see you, any masks. But I have, oh, I have. Oh, I have. I have seen masks start to tick up yeah. well, from the time we first got here. We had a couple of, I had a couple of students this week that were wearing masks because they had a cold, is what they told me. And then uh, the one girl that works in the, the school that is cleaner, she's the runner girl, she had on one yesterday, but she kept taking it down and she was wearing it below her nose. I just looked like, what's the point? Just, I know. You're not you're not helping yourself or anybody else when you do that. And then one of the secretaries like wearing a shirt with the nipples cut out. One of the admins, she had one on her chin all day. I don't know why. You don't get that. Or wearing a condom on your balls. <laughs> It really doesn't. It's not so I try to keep that one Stopping. in. Stopping the pregnancy. Just so you know. It doesn't work out very well. That was an Keeps image. everything nice and warm, but it doesn't really do much else. Why um, do you Alright. What was the, the visual that I saw? The Somebody underwear, wearing her underwear with the penis hanging yeah, over yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, we're, we had a birthday. We did nothing for our birthday. No, 48. 48. But we got two days off before our birthday. Yeah, which was nice. Which was nice. You're 48. I loved your, your birthday. You tattooed it on your forehead so that you always can remember when I say, wow, how old am I? Oh, you just uploaded it to my process. Good. It's been uploaded. I don't know how old you are. In my brain, you're like 32 or something. Oh, God. Sweet. Yeah, that's when I stopped counting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I that is I so not exactly. the number. You keep me right there, my love. That's no, so nice. No, no, no. You're so nice to your mama. Oh boy, that's lies, lies. I just said, why don't? Why not just tell the truth? And now he's lying, and you're happy about it. No, I literally don't remember her age. I'm two I'm years. Two, literally two years younger than me. Two years. And there you go. There you go. Has it been uploaded? Has it been uploaded? Are you Are you good now? No, you should no, keep I'm it at 32. It. Okay. At 32. 3,200 year old knees. Woo! I won't um, lie because you ain't lying. Oh, I wanted to give a special shout out to everybody who has been helping us try to survive this year. Woo! Um, there's been lots of help. Lots of people sending us money through the Cash App and uh, PayPal. PayPal and GoFundMe. The GoFundMe. So, gotta give you guys a big shout out because uh, special thanks to all of you. Because we wouldn't have made it through most of this year without without the help. We definitely wouldn't have eaten this month without it. So, thank you so much. Keep it coming. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not really kidding because the podcast needs your help. Definitely the podcast. But that's the Patreon and the, and the the blah 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 blah, all that stuff. And the merch shop. Definitely for the for the podcast. Okay. Um, you want to see all this? Hopefully we won't be buttering. We won't. We won't be. Uh, hopefully our struggling is going to lessen. Hopefully, and we can start moving out of struggling. But it's going to take us a long time to do it. I had someone ask me if the children knew about our financial struggles. And I said, absolutely, of course, why would they not? I've known since Thailand. And I said, why would they not know? And, they, and she said, I never talked to my children about money. <laughs> and I That's said, a it's a hard way yeah. to teach them about money. Yeah, I know. I said, did your parents teach you about money? And she's like, well, I kind of knew. I would overhear conversations. And I said, did you struggle when you first moved, went out on your own and learned how to budget? And she's like, yeah, it was really hard, which is why I, she's so frugal now because she was, she really struggled those first few so years. why wouldn't you tell your children so that they don't go through the same thing you went through? That's what I'm saying. That don't make no dilly darn sense. Dilly darn. It's because, dilly-darn. from what I understand, 
children don't belong in, belong in grown folks' conversations. Well, I, I and, think that's a different and, conversation. And I though. said, but this is this affects them. Right. If yeah. they are, if we're we're struggling to buy food, and they're going back for thirds and fourths, what really they don't need it. They just want to, you know, keep eating. It's my responsibility to say, hey, listen. Don't use five pieces of cheese on your grilled cheese. Yes. Right. Which shouldn't do that anyway because, you know, the whole later on pooping thing and the not flushing thing, you know. Right? Huh? Right? You know, I've never been constipated because of cheese. You know what? You have. No, I haven't. No, you kind of have. Because, you know, when the poop doesn't go down for two days, <laughs> you kind of have. That doesn't mean I'm constipated. That means the toilet <laughs> is constipated. <laughs> That's a different problem. Okay, toilets don't get constipated. <laughs> sure. People yes. make toilets constipated, okay? Okay, but well, I'm not constipated <laughs> anymore. No, no. Yeah, all right? <laughs> when, you don't, when you don't poop for two days because you ate the, the, the 6,000 pieces of cheese. Oh my gosh, that's yeah, awful. Yeah, trust me, you, you were constipated. I have to have water come out my nose. <sighs> you got anything else? No, I'm done. That's it? Just focus. No, I'm sorry. If you want to follow the traveling fires, you can find us at the YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, iTunes, Spotify, or wherever awesome podcasts are sold. For free. For free. At the traveling fires. If you like the Instagram or the Twitters, you can find us at traveling fires, which lots of stuff is going up on the Instagram these days. If you want to email the Karen lady, you can email her at travelingfars at gmail.com. And the blog space, which is supposedly all worked out now and everything is up and going. The Traveling Fars, dot blueberry dot net, no ease in the blue here. And Blueberry has been following me, I think, or the Traveling Fars, or both on the Instagrams. So thank you so much. We'd love to see you I will on be, the Instagrams. I will be participating in a panel discussion about how you as a family can uh, live abroad work abroad, how to make money. Different, We're still trying to figure out the money thing. Different <laughs> different things. Uh, I will have Aaron put my code and the link to a code and a link. to the, the virtual seminar so that if you would like to attend, you can use my code. And I think you need to make a post on the blog Okay. And then share the post. I can do that. Um, and give it to me. But it's the the Wandering Moms Exodus Fest, and I will. Ooh, it's a fest. I will put up the information, or have Aaron put it in the description, so that you can get your tickets. We will put it everywhere. How about that? Did they? Did you ever pick a picture? You have to give me the picture so I can send them to her today. Okay. I mean, they're just on cam, uh, gimbal one over there. Okay. And if you want to give us money and help the podcast keep going so we can bring you all of this juicy content, go to patreon.com slash the traveling bars. Do it. That can't see, that we can see. We've got plans. Different and things. we've got the GoFundMe. The GoFundMe, traveling bars. And we've got the cash app. We do. It's the, cash the dollar app. sign, the traveling bars. And we've got the PayPal. And that is... So, all the money, all the resources that come in to keep us going, we appreciate it. We love you. We need you. We have to have you. Sending you socially distanced hugs. Which is literally no hug at all, but we're not going to talk about that. That makes those people like our friends who don't like to be touched more comfortable. Yeah. Social distancing is only only bad for part of the population. Right. <laughs> the introverts the are other, all here the for The other part are introverts <laughs> and germaphobes are like, Good They're like, yes! Yeah. <laughs> finally! Finally we it's can a, walk around a, and be safe. It's a rule. I don't have to touch you. <laughs> it's like, yes! I know somebody, somebody wanted to 
shake my hand or something, and I was just like, ah, we're doing the fist bump now. <laughs> and I, I, show, I think I showed one class, is like, you know, because we were talking about the numbers, I think, in the U.S., the uh, uh, half a million people in seven days yes. uh, got COVID. And I was, we were talking about that in relation to here and there and what they were seeing on the street and what I was seeing. And it was like, yeah, everybody's doing the elbow bump thing, man. People are not even. And he was like, no, there's so many people here. They're still kissing. And I saw still, that it's on like, the one day. Well, why would anybody do that? And for me, I tend to try to stay six feet away from everybody walking. Yeah, it's not you easy know, to do. And you're trying to really stay away from people without getting hit by the car that's coming up behind you. Or the motorcycle. And or... There, you know, people are people are getting it real bad in the States. So hopefully it just stays away from here. I watched well, one day. It stays away from wherever we are. How about that? This man was standing there. Three men came up. Each one of them kissed him, hugged him, shook his hand, and then walked away. Did the three men have a baby, though? No, no baby. All right, let's get out of here. What? Three men and a baby, man. Oh, man, I failed as a parent. We, we really got to we really got to get you caught up on what? all of your all of your 80s. all of your movies, your 80s, 90s movies. You're, you're 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 lacking. You have a gap. We get me internet and I'll watch We don't have to have it's internet. On, no. It's on it's They're on Tom the Selleck. hard drives. You can watch them, man. It is Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck has nothing to do with internet. No, it's the mustache is there, man. I know who Tom Selleck is. Magpie is in it. And uh, Steve Gutenberg. Steve Gutenberg from the uh, Police Academy. Yeah, yeah. He didn't know the Police Academy. Look at him. Told you. Told you. I know we've watched at least one of those. No. If Aaron saw Police Academy, Aaron would remember Police Academy because Police Academy got lots of big old ladies. Yeah, I remember that. See? Told you. I told you. Say goodbye to the people. Say goodbye to people. Happy Halloween. Say goodbye to people. Peace.